Hey, what's up interwebs? I'm that toy guy and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Transformers The Last Knight Voyager Class Optimus Prime. And I finally have the Voyager Optimus Prime. Why Walmart finally decided to start stocking these figures, so I grabbed Optimus. And he's easily my favorite of the three new molds from this wave. But we'll get to that in a little bit. First, let's take a look at the box. You have a very cool wraparound piece of artwork there of Optimus. I'm loving the new art that they have on the boxes. Like, on the new boxes, considering... Well, I just dropped a lot of stuff. Here's an Age of Extinction box. And that artwork looks like crap. That art artwork looks really nice. So, I'm really liking the new artwork they've got on here. He says Voyager class, he's a Transformer, he's an Autobot. I mean, yeah, he's an Autobot, but the trailers are saying something else. He's Optimus Prime, there's the movie logo, the Hasbro logo, again, Transformers. It's Premier Edition, still don't know if that means anything. Maybe that means these are the toys that they released before the movie, because you know how in uh, the first movie we had the Protoform figures, the second movie we had Soundwave and Bumblebee, the third movie we had that Cyberverse Optimus, and then the fourth movie was the first edition Optimus. This is probably the fifth movie sort of thing. Anyway, side of the box, you have a very nice picture of Optimus there. And he's Earth's greatest protector. Again, sort of. Now, I want to point something out here. If my camera doesn't fall over. He has yellow here, here, and I'm assuming here as well because it's there. And there. There's some yellow there as well. And on this box art, he also has some yellow there. And I'm assuming there as well because of that. People are saying that he combines with Bumblebee. That's just yellow from being Optimus Prime. So... He probably doesn't combine with Bumblebee because, you know, that's the normal Optimus Prime design. He had just has some yellow trim on him. That was loud. On the back, you have a picture of the toy, and that does say 30 steps, which is great because the older Voyagers would be like, oh, we can do it in 10 steps, and they'd always look like crap. So that's good. There's Grimlock, words, and things. And I didn't notice that they had these on the boxes. Includes Optimus Prime figure, two accessories, and instructions. Thank you for letting me know what I can already see in the box. There it goes. So here is Optimus Prime, and my camera's falling over. Here is... Why? What are you doing, camera? Why are you being stupid? Here is Optimus Prime, and this thing is really, really, really well done. Now, if you have or had owned the um, leader class version from the last movie, this is a huge improvement over that figure at a fraction of the size, but it costs about the same. Um, but yeah, this guy is engineered a lot better. The paint on it is so much better than that leader class toy. I don't have my leader class toy anymore. I sold it to one of my friends, so he has it. I don't. And, but I do remember it very clearly, and I remember how much I didn't like it a lot. So, this figure is such a better is such a better toy. So, just getting in close here so you can see. You got some very nice silver paint on the front grill there. It does have an Autobot symbol molded in. I do have a bit of paint splotchage here and up here, but that, that I don't really care. You got some nice blue flames going on to the red paint, which then turns into flames onto the blue paint. And that effect is really, really nice. You got some Autobot symbols on the sides. They're done in silver. You got some silver for the front lights here. You got some more silver here, and then the black for the uh, actual steps to get into the truck. The windshields are painted in smoky black instead of being a weird translucent yellow, which is nice. And just getting the shield off the back here. He does have, you know, visible robot skirt, but that doesn't bother me that much. Trailer hitch, and, you know, gray at the back. Now, the weapons can store. you got the shield that can store up there and the sword that can store underneath, like in the previous toy, which is still very cool. I do have one glaring issue with this toy, and that are the wheel. That Those are the wheels. They are way too small. They are way too small for the toy they have like no ground clearance he does kind of roll but he's rolling on his two front wheels and then scraping the sheath across the ground if you notice those back wheels are not turning they're not turning and the wheels are just too small you can even tell they're too small for the wheel arches 
That's my one major issue with the vehicle mode, is the wheels are just way too small. But other than that, it does look very nice. Now, for comparison, I've got a lot of them here. Here's Skydive, just quickly. Yeah, Skydive. Here he is next to the other two new molds from the Premier Edition line. Here is Berserker and Barricade. And if I'd, had, if I'd had to rate them as to which one's my favorite to least favorite, it would go Prime, Berserker, or Barricade being my favorite. But yeah, I am loving these new molds for the new movie. They are just so awesome. They're really good. Here he is next to the first and second movie, Voyager Mold. Here's that Prime. And yeah, he looks all dirty because I'm just I'm using him to test out different styles of paint because he's missing bits. So, yeah. Here he is next to my custom version of Evasion Optimus. Because that's my only copy of Evasion Mode Optimus. And people are still complaining as to how small this guy is. And I just want to say something really quickly. This is a cab over truck. This is a long nose truck. A long nose truck has the engine in the nose. That's why it's longer. A cab over truck means the cab, which is the part you sit in, is over the engine. So the engine is in here and this is where you sit. Whereas this figure, this is where you sit and this is where the engine is. So, scale-wise, these trucks scale pretty well together. And I mean, driving down the highway, you can most of the time you'll see a cab over truck and a regular long nose truck. And they do look about this size. So, they scale very well together. And I do quite like that. And then here he is with Legends Optimus from Revenge of the Fallen. and Sorry, Legion Optimus and Legion Barricade from The Last Night. Just so you can see that. So yeah, this figure is really cool, and it does come with one of those backdrops that the uh, that the other guys came with. Like you know how here's here's Barricade's box, even though I said you'd never see it again. Like you know how they have those backdrops in the back there. Yeah, he's got um, where does box his box is too far away. Yeah, they have those as well. So let's get this guy into his robot mode, which is quite the endeavor, which is pretty cool considering this is a modern day movie toy, and there's a lot of steps to it. So the first thing you want to do is remove the weapons. And now you have the base truck. And even with the weapons removed, he still doesn't roll very well. But yeah, the first thing you want to do is come to the roof here and pull this up. Yes, I'm going to preference this right now. He is a shell former. But it's a pretty good shell former. The next thing you want to do is take these side panels here and just remove them. Just like so. And fold them out. Now he has wings. I'm just kidding. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to get your nail in here and just split these sections apart like so. And then they're tabbed in quite securely. Unpeg them and bring them out. Come on, there we go. Bring them out just like so. And everything else will start falling apart and that looks like an utter mess. Let's do the legs next. So what you want to do is you want to fold this section down just like that and just bring that down unpeg the legs right there fold the trailer hitch halves in rotate the legs at the thigh swivel about 90 degrees then you want to come back here fold out the foot whoops before you do that make sure this hinge is out of the way fold down the foot rotate it and that tab will tab in right underneath there so just get that in there then you want to swing this around fold this in bring that around just like that and that tab will go into the slot and that tab will go into that slot. And there you have a leg all done. So that you just want to do the same thing on the side here. Series of swivels, a lot of swivels to get the legs transformed, which is pretty cool. There you have his legs all done. Now you want to you want to be able to see what I'm doing. Now you want to rotate this 180 degrees. Bring the arms out like so, fold up the shoulder pads, bring the arms down, rotate the shoulder pads around, bring them down, clip the arms in. They kind of soft tab into place, they're not super secure, but that's fine. Fold these panels up just like so, fold out the head, take his pecs and fold them up, then bring this section up and close it. Just like so. Make sure all the arms and stuff are tabbed in. And now he has wings and he can fly. No. Turn it around. Stop falling over. Just bring that up over his head. These are on hinge, hinge, and a hinge. So you want to 
fold it in at this hinge, then fold it in at this hinge, like that, and then fold it in at this hinge here. Just want to do the same thing on this side. Now you see those two ports and those two tabs are going to merge. You just want to open this up slightly so that this can fit through. And then just finagle that into place. And there you have Optimus Prime in his robot mode. And this thing looks amazing. Now I was ready to just like um, shoo this figure off because of that dark gray plastic. But it works really well for the toy. Granted, I would like it if it was silver, but it still looks really, really cool. And you've got a lot of silver on this guy. For a mainline Transformers toy being released to the general public made by Hasbro, this has a lot of paint on it, and it's really nice. Just getting in closer on the head. Very nice head sculpt. It looks very knight-like. It's really cool. Then you have his knight collar there in nice metallic blue. You have the chest region in silver. You got some more metallic blue paint. Got some silver here. A lot of nice sculpted detail going on. It reminds me a lot of the uh, 2016 Bionicle chest plates. You got some more molded detail. I do wish these were painted blue. That's the only paint app I wish they had. But oh well. You got some more of that nice silver paint here. And the feet aren't painted. It doesn't bug me as much. But again, if they had a splash of red on them like they're supposed to, that would be cool. Taking a look at the arms here, you got some silver, you got some of that gray plastic going on there. And at the other side is just the uh, top of the truck, but it fits very well in the arm, so I like that. And these shoulder pads, they are really cool. They look really, really nice. A lot more accurate than that leader class toy. I'm just going to say that. And on the back, you have, you know, the backpack. That's standard for an Optimus Prime toy, but... It's a lot better than the Age of Extinction backpack or the Age of Extinction, uh, is it Battle Command or Power Command or something like that? The Takara Optimus that had his entire truck mode just, just I can't even replicate it here, just dangling off his butt. But yeah, the, this kibble is handled a lot better. It's still there, I mean, like, you can see you got truck here that's not supposed to be there and truck here that's not supposed to be there. But it is removable, and I'll make a separate thing to show how to remove all that. But yeah, articulation-wise, his head's on a ball joint. It's a little limited due to the way the collar's shaped. You can get a little bit of neck pivot, and he can look up about that far and down about that much, which is nice. The shoulders can do a full 360, but the backpack gets in the way. Shoulder pads can move up all the way, and they can swivel. So the arms can go out about that far. He does have a bicep swivel as well, and there goes the shoulder. You can also move the uh, pecs down and then bring the shoulders forward to give him a butterfly joint, which I do quite like. But yeah, he does have articulated pecs. Um, just a little over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. No wrist rotation, which is a bit of a bummer. He does have a waist joint. The uh, hips can go forward, they can go back, they can go out about that far. This skirt can move out of the way but to accommodate, but you don't really need it to because the legs go forward no matter what. He does have a thigh swivel that's on a weird angle. Like it does leave a big gap, but that's just due to transformation. The knees are a big point of uh, controversy for this peg in. There you go. For this toy because they only bend about that far, which is a little bit annoying. And the fact that the feet don't move is also a little bit annoying. Now, my figure does have a bit of a loose knee. The pin in this leg is a little loose, but I can just take, I can just take a automatic center punch and just pop the pin out from this side right here, pop it out, remove it, wrap it in some thickening agent, and then just put it back on. So for accessories, he comes with one of these and one of these. So let's take a look at the shield first, and why is it all spark blue? Like, I like All Spark Blue as a highlight on a toy, but not as, like, the primary color for something. But the shield is in its, uh, it's in its, uh, storage mode, which I like a lot better than the, uh, little tiny machine gun that was sticking out of the leader class version. But yeah, that's the shield. And here is the sword. Now, a lot of people are complaining that the sword's orange. If you, if you recall, back to Age of Extinction, in the scene where Optimus jumps off Grimlock, stabs someone then stabs another person, then jumps back on Grimlock. His sword was orange, because his sword heats up like his arm blades do to slice through things. So the sword being orange is 
accurate to the movie, and I'm fine with that. The one issue I have with the weapons are they are way too small. They're way too small for the actual toy. Like, the sword should at least be here, and the shield should go to at least the thigh swivel there. They're way too small. Now, he can hold them. He can put the sword in his hand, lift the armor up, and the shield pegs into the arm there. He can hold his weapons. He can also store the sword. There's a scabbard right up there. It's hard to see. There you go. There it is. You just slide that in like so, and now he can store his sword and look really cool. So, that's awesome. Now, for comparison, here he is with Skydive. So, yeah, there he is next to a Combiner Wars Deluxe. Here he is next to the first slash second movie Voyager mold. There's that. And he is a little taller, but I like this guy a lot better. Here he is next to my unfinished custom evasion Optimus. And again, he's a little taller, but I still think they look pretty good together. Because you have like this part from the beginning of Age of Extinction to this part at the end of Age of Extinction. That just, that works for me. Here he is next to the other two figures from the um, from the wave. The other two new molds from the wave. Here is Berserker and Barricade. Stand up, Barricade. Stand. Stand. I'll give you a cookie if you stand. All right, I guess I owe Barricade a cookie. There they are. And again, my favorite, second favorite, least favorite. Not saying he's bad. He's just my least favorite of the three. Now, I'm really liking these the, these new molds. They are looking, and they feel great. They feel a lot better than the Age of Extinction toys, which always fell apart, had stress marks all over them. They, they Look at Drift, for example. That was a terrible figure. Well, at least my copy was horrible. So, these guys are a huge step up, and I like that. Let's get them out of the way. And here's little itty-bitty Legion Optimus. Or Floptimus Prime, as I like to call him, because he's super floppy. And here's Legion Barricade. So, yeah. Overall, this Optimus Prime is really, 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 really good. And I would highly recommend anyone pick this guy up for their collection. Even if you hate the movie toys, this guy's still cool. He's really cool. He pulls off the night aesthetic very well. And I cannot wait till that Takara version comes out, the one with the purple eyes and the darker paint scheme, because I totally want to get that. That looks so cool. But again, this did cost forty dollars, forty Canadian dollars, which is um, the U.S. dollar is no wait, the Canadian dollar is seventy-three cents U.S. So that's terrible. I know a lot of countries have it worse, but from here, that's terrible. So, yeah. But he's still cool. I mean, he's worth the, the, the typical Voyager price of 30 bucks, but $40, that's a little pushing it. But I would still highly recommend you guys go out and get this figure. So that has been my look at the Transformers The Last Night Premier Edition Voyager Class Optimus Prime. That's a mouthful. And I'm that toy guy, and stay tuned for my next video.